Okay. Oh shit. I think my... I think the stream might have disconnected. So this is... I hate when this happens because then Twitch splits the video up in two. It's a huge bummer. Sorry about that. Sorry about for that, that loss of connection. I don't know, it's probably just... My shit's not built for... My shit's not built for mass streaming. Hopefully, uh, I don't know why I, I don't know what you missed. So I was probably just writing something down anyway, so it was a perfect time. Okay, let's get back to let's get back to making that enemy that I had. Um, enemies. Okay, so these guys don't spawn. Sprite right now. I'm not gonna have that. This. Halo. No. Okay, I'm not gonna make them flash. So the only thing they're gonna have every tick is the cooldown. No, don't even worry about taking time on that issue. I mean, that was something that I was planning on. The only reason why I went ahead with it is because I was planning on doing it anyway. And I think uh, you're right. It is important to have in there. Um, obviously, it's gonna, it's not gonna be the default way. You know, I think, I think I also have to think of other people who play the game. And I think people, if they're having an issue with the, if they're having an issue with the spin, it's not really. Um, you know, there's not really, it'd be, it'd be, uh, what do you call it? Not selfish, but it'd be arrogant for me to think that, it would be arrogant for me to just say, don't play the game. If I have the capability of, of making an alternative that, I mean, if the alternative was crap, I probably wouldn't, but if it's... If it's just one compromise, is the controls get a little bit messed up. I mean, it's pretty clear to sort of explain that. The, I run the danger of people saying, well, why don't you just flip the controls once you get to the bottom of the screen? Because then... So I'm kind of opening up a, up a door there, but, you know... I don't know. I don't know. Am I... Is it a... Is it an issue? Is it is it less of an issue to just say it spins? That that's the way that the game is, and that's the way that the gameplay should be, or is it is it seen as a negative point if I give it an alternative, and that alternative has its own set of flaws that are not dealt with? Because dealing with those flaws open up another alternative with its own set of flaws. That's why I went with this, just the spin. So. You know, I'm trying to think of from like a reviewer point of view. Like if somebody reviews the game and they say, "Oh, this the the game spins and it gives me a headache," so I used the the dizzy mode, turned it off. But then all of a sudden, the controls were hard because it was upside down. In their minds, it's not like a like the alternative should be a solid, just a solid of a solution. So, fuck, this is what I have to think about. And it just drives me insane because there's an endless, yeah, there's an endless amount of variables that go into it. Acorn's saying, it's not an issue for me, but if some people can't play the game because of the spinning, then I would be okay with an alternative, even if it's imperfect. Yeah. I think I, you know, I'm going to go with the non-spinning. It's going to be in there. Your controls will be flipped when you're upside down. It's pretty much like, you know, it'll be an option that you can choose, I guess. We'll see. Maybe I'm just thinking it's more critical than it actually is. I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty easy to, like, overthink something and, like, get lost in what somebody else could think about it and that's kind of what I've been trying not to do is just sort of you can't please everybody I guess is the thing 
and the fact that I'm like one guy working on this game, I kind of have to take into the account what the feedback is from other people who are playing it. <laughs> Yo, Pop, what's happening? Yeah, exactly. Everyone's going to have their own preferences on how they like to play the game and, and stuff like that. So, I mean, if it were me, I'd like to play... Um, like to play Call of Duty if it looked like Grand Theft Auto from a, from above, you know. I'm sure they're not going to program Call of Duty so people who don't who don't like the 3D third first person view has like an above ground over overhead map view that you can play. It's just the game how it's made. All right, let's get back to uh, let's get back to this. So right now, okay, so Pop, just to keep you in the loop, um, working on Cosmicoria, the first thing I did was show off the, hey, Random Rockers here too. What's up, guys? Now it's a party. Uh, I was showing off the title screen, made some simple changes to sort of clean it up a bit so it wasn't so uh, unruly. And uh, let's see what we got here. So the title screen's cleaned up. Um has some options so you can quit the game from the title screen or set the game to full screen from the title screen and this is all just stuff that I was been doing yeah I'm gonna throw this up right now um, this is all stuff I was doing to get it ready for the Steam uh, early access codes to go out for all the dev backers um, probably be tweaked a little bit more but basically it's just um, also starting to think about because it's gonna be a Wii U um, because it's gonna be on Wii U and because gamepad support is gonna be fairly uh, important. I wanted to make it so uh, the option menu was something that would be a little bit easier to handle through game pads and that was where you know when you start the game it'll have the red bar you won't have a mouse cursor obviously so then you push down on the keypad or on the game pad and it'll actually go through the options so you can go through everything. Uh, the dev codes I've got them all ready to go um, they're gonna go out probably this weekend I think I was hoping to have them done today, but a bunch of stuff got in the way. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take some time and get them out this weekend. Sweet. Um, if you pop, do I have you on Skype? Uh, hit me up on. S oh wait, yeah, I think it's. I think that's my Skype. Yeah, hit, send me a message on Skype, and then I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll paste your code in there, and then that way you don't have to wait for them to, to be uh, sent in an email. Because I'm basically just going to... That's that's what's taking me so long, is getting something set up so I can... I think there's about 250 or so that have to go out. So I didn't want to send them out one, one at a time, because it's going to take forever. Um, so I've just been trying to set it all up through MailChimp or something like that, so I can have it as like a field that gets sent to people. So it's a t tied to their account or whatever. Yeah, so uh, Dan, I'll I'll def I'll definitely uh, pass you your code as well. Uh, okay, here, let me do that now. And then that way you guys can no, because then you're gonna see all the codes on my screen. Yeah, no, I can't do it right now because I'll, I'll have the codes up on my screen. As soon as I'm done the stream at uh, three o'clock, I'll copy and paste the codes over to you guys. Okay, so. Yeah, this is the screen. Um, you know, you can make things full screen from this point. Uh, yeah, just wait. It'll be an hour. Make the full screen. Make the game full screen. Um, you can. There's going to be a little how to play option. Um, so there'll be some, some information in here, like a sort of a graphical version of how to play the game, sort of roughly, quickly. Um, your store. Isn't an option. I had a feeling that a lot of people were missing the little upgrade button in the bottom there. Um, I, I don't know why. It seemed to be obvious, but I think having a minimal amount of stuff on the screen and just having the options of what you could do makes it a little bit more obvious. So you can play, you can upgrade, and when you do the upgrade, you actually that's when you see all your current upgrades and you see your coins and all that kind of stuff because you don't really need to see it until you get there anyway. And then play the game, yeah. And uh, the other thing pop that I was showing is there's going to be another um, 
there's going to be another option in the game for camera mode. Uh, and that's basically, right now we've got the normal camera spin. Obviously some people have been having an issue with that. Um, just rotation sickness and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to, here's the other option where it doesn't spin. And uh, just set that up while we were doing this chat. So yeah. That'll be uh, pretty cool. Time for me right now is 10 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So 1.50 in the afternoon. So yeah, you're about uh, what, three hours ahead of me. Okay, now the final thing I'm going to do today, I'm hoping I can get it done today, is, uh, yeah, I'm in the West Coast, Canada. Uh, I'm going to do the... A tower that appears oh see I don't need to do this okay so he's not gonna spawn he's not gonna spawn aliens I'm gonna have a tower that sits on the planets and shoots at you basically just like a UFO that looks different and uh, a UFO that looks different and is on the planet when you get there And by killing them, this is how you get bases. So there'll be, you know, you can kill these guys. You can kill these guys to get bases. Light greenish gray. I'm talking about the actual art. Like the art will be, you know, I'll actually have like a cool looking tower kind of thing. <laughs> I should say it one minute later. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, it's so hard to do, to work and stream at the same time. Because it's like... Yeah, you know what I mean? Lost in my train of thought and stuff, and I should almost just not. I should just not talk, right? Interdimensional turtle is not there yet. Um, that'll be my next thing. I was actually thinking I had a list of stuff that I could possibly do today, and adding in a pet was one of them. Um, it was probably going to be the dragon, because I know his uh, his ability isn't going to be that complicated at first. Um, and it'll set up a good framework for how I start adding in the pets. Um, once the dragon's in, that's like, you know, more than half the work is done for the turtle, and then I just need to have the actual turtle uh, abilities. Each pet will have its own abilities that I have to program in. Uh, okay, so it's on the screen. I don't need to do this. Yeah, I just thought it would be cool to have like a. I thought it'd be cool to have a little dragon following you around, um, fighting the big dragons. There are no Easter eggs in the game. Um, the f first couple of Steam versions, I'm going to start putting in um, the first Steam version, the one that you're going to get the code for, like in the next. Well, you'll get yours today. Um, it'll be pretty much. It'll be pretty much what you've been used to in the downloadable version uh, or the website version, um, with some of this other stuff that I've been adding in, like the new title screen and all that kind of stuff. And this. Um, enemy tower will be in there if I can get that done today um, the 
the next sort of bigger update will be I've got some artifacts and stuff. And I can actually show you guys what that is. Uh, I keep getting distracted. So yeah, the, um, here I'll show you something. Since you guys are on the stream and you're awesome, play stuff on planets. This is a little taste of sort of what the whole artifact system that's going to be um, placed in. Uh, it's still really rough, so there none of the items actually do anything yet, and none of the items actually. Um, have their correct art. It's all just circles and squares and stuff like that. But you can at least see sort of where I'm going to start heading with it. I made a change. Um, you will now instantly die when you fly into the sun. So good luck with that. That's normal mode. There'll be an easy mode where you don't, but. Uh, pretty much the way I always wanted to have the game was where you would instantly die if you hit the sun. Okay, so what's this little green thing on the planet here? <laughs> Let's start screwing. So yeah. There's a little, little green thing there. I'm just going to take this I'm going to plant to take this thing off the screen. Okay, walk over top of it. A strange metallic leg lies in the dust. Press S to pick it up. Pick it up. Now I'm carrying it. Unknown metallic leg. So now I'm carrying this item. I thought I had it programmed where you could put it down again, but obviously not. And, uh,. My jump is limited. Yeah, I also um, I also thought that you should die instantly. That's how I originally had it. Um, and then somebody on Steam had said, somebody on like the Steam Dev uh, forum said that they'd prefer you not to die. And I tried I tried it, and I just left it in, and just didn't really give it much thought after that. But honestly, like I think that's the way. Excuse me, that's the way it was intended, was you're supposed to die as soon as you get out of the planet. I think a lot of people were surprised that they didn't. Every time I saw somebody doing a Let's Play or something like that, and they didn't die, they were like, oh, okay. So, there you go. So yeah, there's these, these items. If I could put this one down, you'd see. But it's actually limiting my jump, so it's like got weight to it, so it's you know, I can't jump as high. My jetpack isn't as thrusty. Like uh, usually, I'd be able to jet around a lot quicker. It takes a lot more speed to build up. And you can carry it around. There will be other items and stuff uh, that you can carry around, like eggs and all that kind of stuff, um, that will. They'll grant you abilities like while you're holding it. So if you're holding like a certain thing that gives you like a superpower, and then you can bring him to the old man. He says, "Good job. You found you found the uh, leg to the super weapon." So you can. So basically, a, a big part of the game will actually be jetting around, uh, finding stuff. Crystal of Unknown Origin, finding stuff, and uh, bringing it to this old man. So that'll be something that you do while you play. Uh, 
and then the artifacts will grant you abilities, so you can decide whether or not you're going to bring it to the old guy or not. And those artifacts will be per game, so it'll be, um, each time you play, they're, they're, there's going to be like, I think, a set number, like, say, nine or ten artifacts that are scattered throughout the galaxy that you got to hunt down every time you play, the normal story mode version. And then, uh, yeah, you bring them all to the bring them all to the old man, and something will happen. But then there'll be other items that you can pick up and stuff as well that will give you abilities and, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I just love flying around. Okay, let's go back here. Let's make this. Let's make this thing. Uh, okay, so now we have a base, a tower. spawn on every single planet. Take this off. Okay, planets. Shall just do it like this. So now I think I've just basically created. Yo, 9 bit, how's it going, man? Just want to let you know we've got some uh, Steam keys. We'll be going out in the next couple days. I've got them all ready to go. Um, if you want to hit me up on uh, Skype, I can get yours ahead of time. Okay, look what we got here. Those are our towers. Oh, I don't, the bullets aren't affecting it yet. But they also don't seem to be shooting me. Also seem to be mad affecting the frames per second. So this is good to know. How many item how many enemies do we have here? Dead. Yeah, 
that was hurting the frames per second, like huge. CPUs are just like 100%. So that would have been 50 planets with five of those things each. Doesn't seem like there'd be that many enemies. So that's starting to tell me that it may be the source of some issues. <laughs> Den says I should have a hidden tower in the game that looks like those those towers. So I'm assuming just like the the shitty little enemy tower. Um, yeah, something something's going on. This is good because I gotta figure this out. Um, it doesn't seem like there should be. It doesn't seem like that many towers should be that big of a deal, but maybe. Maybe it is. All it is is a tower. This stuff shouldn't come into play. This stuff shouldn't come into play if it's outside. What a good stream. You guys just uh, watch me sit here and think. I'm just running through so many things. Good thing there's music. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not super worried. The fact that it's the code... I knew there was something up with the UFOs. I already knew that. Because I think people have been saying that as they get further in into the game, they're having an issue with the speed and the frames per second dropping. And I think it had to do with the fact that as you get further into the game, more UFOs have spawned and there's a bunch of UFOs. So there's something going on with the UFOs. The fact that I just duplicated the UFOs to make the... Oh, shit. The fact that I just duplicated the UFOs to make the towers means I brought over whatever was wrong with the UFOs with the towers as well. But that means that it has to be right here. And that means that it has to be something to do with the... Okay, I'm gonna stop worrying about the stream. Word up. There's optimization stuff that I need to... Yeah, I think I... Yeah, I think I heard about the... Yeah, there's tons of UFO problems. Once it starts getting... Even a certain amount. I think the fact that they're just floating around... They're technically, they're not supposed to be doing anything. They're not... They shouldn't really be affecting anything. But I think... Like this... Like, so here we've got... See, there... See, this is what I'm... Okay. Just stop, Nathan. Stop. I right, disable the UFO. I'm gonna deal with this problem for the bases, and then that should fix the UFOs, right? Let me turn this music back down a bit. Okay. So, if the enemy is created... So this is done. So that's not a big deal. So it's not going to run this a bunch of times. So that's done. This will run constantly. Every tick is subtracting from the cooldown. But we don't want it on every tick because we only want it if the enemy tower is on screen. Otherwise... See, but I can just go like that and move that in here. 
if it's on screen, every tick subtract, that's fine. If it's on screen, and it has the line of sight to player. See, this, this is what I don't understand. This stuff should only be coming into play once it's on screen. So it shouldn't even be accounting for all that other shit. Maybe it's just checking. It shouldn't be accounting for those other enemy towers. Because they're not on screen. Yeah, man, it's... It's hard, like... Sometimes run into problems where it just doesn't make sense why you need to go through it like a hundred times. You end up like redesigning how it works. See, this is just messed up. There's 13 frames per second. I actually did help things quite a bit by having them having that one update. But it shouldn't really be accounting for the other... Okay, so I'm gonna go into like a debugging kind of thing. It's basically accounting for like 250 of those spaces. So it's good. That's a good test because there could possibly... Actually, I have the limited... The UFOs are limited to a certain amount. But I think the... Um, Even this is in slow frames per second. Why? I'm wondering if it's maybe... You know what I think, guys? I think the stream is fucking with shit anyway. Because this is just the title screen. There should be nothing wrong with this. I think it's just my computers being used for more important shit. Yeah, this should be like 60 frames per second right now. It's only 19. Let's see. This will tell me... So this tells me where the... There's no enemies on the screen. Okay, so the fact that we've got 40... 54% being used somewhere. Let's check this out. Uh, pop out to space. Oh no, check this out. It's generating shitloads of shit. Yeah, there's a there's something going on right now. So it's basically generating what do we got? 21,000. So it's just looping. Yeah, it's just a loop. It's continually looping something. My bad. You know what it's probably doing? It's continually generating those towers forever. This is... The current track is Kitchen Sink by Amon Tobin, but it's the 6-2 remix. Uh, let's, how can I type this out? Kitchen Sink 6-2 Remix and Tobin. If you go to my uh, last FM user, go to last.fm slash user slash Matricid, um, that'll be my, you'll basically get like a playlist of what I've been listening to. So this puppy right here. Yeah, me too. And this song is like so... This is just like a big mix that I have. Um, okay, so for each planet... <sighs> 
So it's not doing a limit. So it's looping through the planets just constantly. So I need to have like a... Uh, planet... Instant variable. I'm giving the planet an instant variable called has enemy... I say has tower. So by default, no planets have a tower. For each planet, it's going to set a tower onto that planet, um, and then it's also going to set the variable has tower to one, telling it that now that planet has a tower on it. And then for my for loop, I'm going to for each planet if the planet. I'm going to check that variable. Comparison variable has tower is equal to zero. So basically, it's going to loop through. As soon as a planet has a tower on it, it'll say, Yeah, this is Bonobo. Uh, yeah, so that should work. That should stop. That should stop the leak. Because I think it was just constantly generating. Generating towers forever. This is a shitty thing because that doesn't resolve my that doesn't resolve my UFO problems. But whatever. Let's see. So we've got one, yeah, so it's only generating one per planet. Damn, those frames are slow, man. I'm almost sure it has something to do with the stream. Yeah, man, Ilke is a, uh, he's a super smart guy awesome producer and uh, yeah if you know if you know what you want and you have some um, I think you need to also understand what his style is as well uh, you know you're not gonna get like some symphonic um, you know Skyrim music if if you're hitting up okay because he has a style that he works in and that was the main reason why I hit him up is because I wanted that sort of a style of sound for the game I mean, he has a range he's doing stuff for other other games or same time, yeah, you need to just be aware of what your uh, what kind of music you want, and you should be able to deliver. And just super like upfront guy, like if you have a question or problem, or you want like to give feedback, or you want him to be, you know, you want honest sort of interaction. That's what you can get. Okay, so we got bases. They're not shooting at me. I'm not too worried about that yet. They're all, they're not spawning in the correct angle. Um, so I want to set the angle uh, of the enemy tower. Set angle to the angle. Oh, say I gotta pick the planet. Oh no, actually I can just use it. So set enemy tower. Set the angle to the angle of planet X, planet Y, enemy tower X, enemy tower Y. So I'm setting the angle of the tower to that of the... Because it's going to be on a random position on the... On the planet so I'm choosing the angle from the point of the planet the middle of the planet to the uh, middle of the tower so 
if it's here, if the middle point is here and the tower is here, then I want the angle to also be to follow that angle. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So I'm choosing the two points, the middle point of the planet and the point of the base, and that will be the angle that it shows up at. I don't know if I explained it well, but whatever. You'll see. And then I'm just going to mark off the top of the tower with um, that, so you know that's the top. And then I think there's one more thing that I have to do. Yeah, LK's, LK's the man. Um, let's do this. Yeah, the streaming is definitely taking its toll. I think that's where all this delay is coming from. Everything's just running so slow. I just don't have a I don't have the computer set up for you know. Okay, so this is exactly what I was worried about. Um What the f it shouldn't be moving. It definitely should not be moving. Fly through space. Out of the middle came a lady. She whispered in my ear. See, that's what something <laughs> crazy. She said, Oh, my mind is just baffled. Uh, he, Ilke has not finished all the songs. Um, there's definitely going to be some more stuff. Um, there's more stuff going to be done. Right now, the CDP that was released has six songs on it. I think there's about... This EZP has six songs on it. There's going to be a bunch more. Um, and then I've got a bunch of music that I've got going into the game as well. It'll be more like beat beat type stuff, like uh, like hip-hop beats and stuff like that for when the bosses come. Um, it's funny to do this stuff on the stream because... It's surprising how much. It's surprising how much of what I do ends up being trial and error. The one thing I don't understand is how these things can move. And it's choosing the angle messed up. It's, I think it has to do with this and their origin point being in the wrong... Yeah, look at this. The origin point is in the wrong spot. Silly Nathan. Ah, silly Nathan. Their origin spot was in the wrong point, so it was all messed up. Good times, good times. This is, um, I'm working in Construct 2. So that, yeah, there you go. Um, if you go to Sierra, Sierra, I just call it Sierra, maybe it's not. Sierra.com. Bam. Okay, so that is correct. We've got a base sitting the right way. Everything should be okay. Let's see if I 
go to other planets. That one's a little jimped up. I don't know why. I'll figure it out. I'm wondering if it's... It's kind of took into account that first... Yeah, no offense taken, man. I mean, you use what you gotta use. It's like saying um, Macs are better than PC or... I mean... I mean, ultimately, you know, Unity is... Unity is becoming, like, industry standard for this kind of thing. Um, for And even for, like, 3D, 3D games and that kind of thing. So... It's all tools. Whatever you can make with tools. You know, I know a guy who can, um, you know, make insane music on a, on a paint bucket and, you know, rubber bands tied around a Kleenex box. Doesn't mean if he had a guitar and a set of drums that he could make better music. It's all just ex tools to express ourselves. If you don't know how to use the tools, then you won't know how to express yourself. Like in my instance here. Yeah, I think that's where a lot of it comes down to, is just play with play with the stuff that's out there. I mean, the reason why I got into using Construct is because it was, uh, they had the free version, and the fact that you can pull, you can build out to, um, you, know, you can build out to Mac, uh, Windows, Linux. <laughs> it's just getting worse and worse, man. Planets shrink also. See, but in there, shit, shit. Maybe, maybe I've just had a long day. You know what I mean? different route right now. I'm moving all my um, planet or so my I'm moving 
all my space spawning stuff into the actual when it spawns the planets. Just because I think something was something was just messed up with it being outside of my normal planet loop. Because the way that it generates the planets, it's generating them bigger than they are uh, to make sure that they're not overlapping. And then it shrinks them in once they're all generated and none of them are overlapping and it shrinks them down to the correct size of what they actually are so that I can make sure that each planet has that gap around it so that none of the planets are actually going to touch or even more so that they're uh, um, their atmospheres don't touch because that starts fucking with things some loop that doesn't do that anyway. So I'm able to burn the planet. Okay. And then to make sure that they all have one has tower. Let's set them all to one. I should be able to shoot these towers and have them explode. I don't think they're going to shoot me yet, but I'll figure that out in a second. They have like a thousand health. Which is probably even silly. That's like boss territory. And then it dropped a base, collect the base, everyone's happy. So yeah, it's just way too strong, but I couldn't remember. So let's see here. UFOs have how much health? A hundred or so. Is that right? A hundred or so. Don't worry about me, man. I'm just working on the game. Sorry I'm, like, being passive with it. It's my discussion, but... Just listen to some music. Work on the game. Thank you. 
causing them to jump out of position. Yeah. Because I really should not be doing that. shooting me yet. Trying to get these things shooting at me now. I love you, acorns here. To become aware of my own sensuality, I first become fully aware of my own tactile sense. In dim light, I close my eyes and remove my clothes. his respect for being so wild? Hardly. He treats me like a rare and precious jewel, and he goes through the day proud of the fact that with me he is the world's most imaginative lover. Men pick amazing places for sexual adventure. The wildest adventure proposed to me was in a bathtub we would fill with jello. All I could think is how many boxes it would take would be the most alluring color the most delicious flavor and how would that affect our aura uh nine bit you're asking about sound and if i think um hmm, would i bounce i mean if you're using something like As you if you're using like uh, remember these three like unity or something like that you know they all kind of have their own sound engines or like if you're just coding straight like c plus plus or something like that you could tie in with like audio engines and that kind of thing um oh sorry love making is physical i'm gonna let this suck cock fuck and prick are not bad words used in the bedroom by lovers to describe parts of the body and physical activities they are very proper indeed, and they distinctly enhance sex. Overhaul a prudish attitude. Don't bristle and stick up your nose. At least, not up in the air. Weird, uh, 
sensual woman. Um, okay, so yeah, you're wondering about um, sound engines and that kind of thing. Um, I think it'll, you know you can tie in with a lot of sound engines. You can program your own, but it's kind of be like reinventing the wheel at this point. There's so many tools out there that you can tie into your game and stuff like that. And um, I think uh, Construct is using it's like an HTML5 and JavaScript engine, so it's using sort of like a web-based um, backbone kind of thing. And I think Web Audio is part of a good portion of what the sound is kind of dealing with like advanced web audio and within construct 2 you can do stuff like um, there's an audio plugin that sort of lets you position the audio really easily um, you would set in your game the listener object so you would set where the ears are which I would want to be on the player so wherever your guy is he he's where the sounds are sort of uh, where they're like the relativity sort of base is based upon and then you can set then when a guy dies or say like when this ufo shoots he's going to generate a sound of the ufo shooting sound at the position of where he currently is so then the game kind of knows then if he's shooting from here then i'm going to generate the sound from there so it'll come out of your right speaker or i don't know if this is yeah i think it's okay so your right speaker if he's shooting from down here it'll come from your left speaker and that's just like positional um uh the positional audio kind of thing <laughs> sorry sorry pop i didn't mean to uh to uh, offend the song's almost over it's just a smooth beat for the last 10 seconds Ace of Fire, what up? Sorry I didn't say hey, I was listening to um, that Herbalizer song. Uh, and you were playing Game Dev Tycoon, and I made a game that was space and farming as topics, and it didn't sell too well. <laughs> I love that game. <laughs> space farming. Huh. Did you put... Did you? How much emphasis did you put on the art? Or the music, so I think that that plays a big role. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, hopefully you didn't. Hopefully you didn't put all your. Uh, hope you didn't put all your money into the programming. Oh <laughs> uh, no! Space farming. <laughs> Thank you for that. I think, no, I think it's a good sign. I think that the fact that the general population would see space... Uh, the, the general population would see a space farming game as not not a good choice it means that there's a lot less competition, right? There's a, a lot better chance that I can have that market cornered. Okay, what was I doing? Uh, explain the audio. I was trying to get these things to shoot me. If he has line of sight, target cooldown is less than zero. I'm going to take that off for now. He's going to acquire a target. And if he shoots. Okay, so I need to check to see if casual sim yeah there you go try like um try like casual action space farming i uh, love it <laughs> thanks acorns yay me too just so slow. I can't wait to work when the stream's not on, because it'll actually be... You know what? You know what, guys? This is, ta this is just not working because of how slow everything is. And I think it's because my computer is like 100%... It's 100% being used by the streaming functionality. Are you cool if I just play a game for the last the last 15 minutes or so just have a quick session of like 
I don't know, like hack slash loot or something. I'm just going to do that. I got to figure out, um, maybe I can like up, up my gigahertz or something like that. I'm going to up my gigahertz and then the next week maybe it'll be a little bit better. Do it like a fresh restart before I start the stream. I think the fact that it's multiple things because I'm stream the streaming software so it's using my CPU to actually do the stream and then to actually work on the game I have to have a virtual windows open like I'm using parallels to like virtualize windows so it's actually running like a second operating system so it's taking up half my CPU to do that and then to actually play the game it's like it's like it's just chewing it up I got nothing left yeah and I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely send the the steam codes uh, acorns did you have were you a dev backer I can't remember um, well I guess you'll get a code anyway if you are backing up that's good that's a good thing which didn't take six fucking years. Okay. Thank God. Oh man, my computer is just hurting. Just let it, just let it do, do its thing. Just do its thing. Do what you need, do what you need to do. Do you need to, you need a moment? You need to, okay, you're good? Jesus Christ. Let's close this shit down. Legit Steam, if anyone wants to add me there. That's where I actually have my games and shit. So that's... Look at this. Cosmicoria. Pretty soon. Okay, let's play some hack slash loot. I'm 
gonna take a chance. Should I take a chance? I'm gonna desecrate this tomb. Oh yeah. Scroll of health. Uh, I should have stopped when I was ahead. What do I got here? I'm an archer that clubs people. Wait, is that what's going on here? No. I'm not gonna club people. I'm gonna keep my link hat on. It's, uh, ah, it's fucking skeletons all the time, but they're skeletoning. Knock, knock. Again, why would I want a sword? I'm an archer. That'd be. That would just be silly. Nice, thank you. Yeah, I'll add you since I'm. Nice. What up? What up? Friends till the end. Oh, wait, what's this? Carry a shield. Oh wait, why does that why does that take away my? Why does that take away my? Oh, because I guess you need a second hand to pull your bowstring, right? Don't be silly. Oh shit! Kill that fool. Boots. Does that mean I can't have ranged attack anymore? Is that... Am I just going to be beating on fools now? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, but look at that. He died like in one hit. Hmm. Boom. Hmm. I'm an archer that doesn't use a bow anymore. I don't know if Matthew is drama llama or really baked. I'm gonna take a guess. What was it really? Yeah, it was really baked. I'm gonna take a guess, and you are baked llama. Is that not a? Oh, it's a human. Rotting and smelling. Yeah, that's a lot of games, dude. How many of those do you wish you had more time to play? I have like I have like 20 games on Steam. How many is this? Can you count? I count them? I don't know. I've maybe played like four of them properly. I knew I knew really big to see because the hip hop, the hip hop references and stuff. Okay, this fucking sucks. I'm gonna go get my bow back. Yeah, I was blown away actually. The that the Humble Bundles hook you up with the Steam codes. It's like, you can really get some games. It's this guy just laying on the floor. Trying to bite my nuts. What's this? So you don't benefit. 
this to that. Ah, the skeleton is gonna be my undoing. Problem was, yeah. Awesome knots is awesome. Awesome knots is, yeah. You guys, you guys rule. I'm gonna hook you up with some codes too. Uh, yeah, I would love a gift. I would absolutely love a gift. Uh, let me just do something here. I'm gonna pass off. I'm gonna pass off a code that I got in a humble bundle. That um. I'm going to hit you guys on... Let's see here. How are we going to do this? There's too many people here. It's going to have to be first come, first serve. Okay, I got some codes. I got some codes. You guys get ready to click. Don't click if you already have it on Steam, okay? I'm going to drop some codes. Here we go. First code. This game is for... Uh, Thomas Was Alone. Awesome game. I bought it when it first came out. I got it in a humble bundle. I already had it. So I've got the Steam code for it. I'm about to hit enter on this code. So the first person who wants Thomas Was Alone, click this link. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Who got? I want to know who got that code. Nice, Pop got it. Did you already have that game though? If you have like every game on Steam. <laughs> nice, good snag. All right, Acorns, yay! I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna save you one. Have you played uh, Have you played Proteus, Acorns, yay? I'm gonna save you one because that's that one's in line with the aesthetic of uh, that one's in line with the uh, aesthetic of Cosmicoria, so I think you might appreciate it. Here's another code coming up. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop a code for Awesome Knots. Who was just talking about Awesome Knots? Pop? No, 9-bit. Word up. Okay, so Acorns, yeah, I'm gonna save you Proteus, because you rock. You've been on every stream since day one. So I'm gonna save you that code, and I'll just send it to you on Skype or whatever. Yo, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna give it, there's two more games I'm giving away. One is Awesome Knots, and one is Hotline Miami. And then one will be a Steam key for Cosmicoria's dev key, dev uh, like the dev version, basically, so you can download. Okay, so Awesome Knots, here we go. Whoever does not have Awesome Knots and you want Awesome Knots, get ready to click this link. Are you ready? Are you ready, guys? Here it comes. Whoever's first. Okay, so Pop. You have awesome knots. I think 9-bit you have awesome knots, so don't click this link. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? I'm gonna hit enter any any second now. <laughs> I just realized that when I say it, I'm gonna hit enter, I had already done it. Nice, I'm clicking the Surgeon Simulator.
Did I lose it? Oh, somebody already used the Surgeon Simulator one. Too slow. Too slow. Mad delay. <laughs> okay. So someone got Awesome Knots? Did someone get that already? I've got one more to go. Nice. Good job, Masty. Okay, I got one more to go. Hotline Miami. Good game. I bought it when it first came out because it looked so deadly dope. I think I bought it because of the soundtrack, actually. I was like, I just want to play this game while listening to this game's music. Okay, so see if I can figure out the timing. I'm going to say something, and as soon as you guys hear it, say, I just heard it. Okay, so... Tell me that you heard it right. As soon as I say now, say now. So right now. It's like 15 seconds. Okay, so there's like a 15 second delay. So I've got Hotline Miami. I'm going to have a 15 minute... 15 second delay or so roughly ready okay i'm i'm about to i'm about to drop i'm about to paste the code so get ready to click here we go Who gets Hotline Miami? That's all I have left. I'm going to send uh, Acorns Yay my Proteus code because, uh, well, Acorns Yay rules. Den rocks, rocks. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's one more code, and that is going to be a Steam. That is going to be a steam key. For Cosmicoria. Okay, so do me a huge solid. Okay, do me a huge solid. If you are in the dev, if the if you're in the dev group for Cosmicoria, so like you you're you pledged twenty five bucks or more in the in the Kickstarter, don't use this code because uh, you're gonna get a code. And especially if you're in this chat, I'm gonna be hooking you guys up with your own codes right away. Anyway, um, so don't use this code if you're. If you're a dev backer, you're going to get a code, so this is just a waste. Save this for somebody who's in the who's in the Twitch feed who is not a dev backer. Okay. With that said, um, I'm going to paste this code. And I think roughly enough time has passed. There it is. So that's a little different. You don't click the link. You actually have to go into Steam and do like the add... Uh, add games or whatever games activate a product on steam and then you enter that code so i managed to get all the other ones in let me know if you use that code because i want to know if you uh i want to know if you used it and all that kind of stuff um but i'm actually going to start sending out the other codes now pop you're going to get yours in a second on skype boom Boom. And what do we got here? Dennis, homie, Den Rocks. Boom. Den Rocks. Okay. And Random Rocker. You are also going to get your code on Skype. I'm going to be sending out the uh, codes. Random rocker. Okay, I'm going to be sending out the uh, the codes to everybody else. Uh, oh shit! Sorry, nine bit. Oh. 
Oh, so nine. Um, yeah, nine bit. You'll still get your code for Steam. No worries about that. Um, when you, the when the game comes out, you'll get a humble bundle. Uh, you'll get the humble bundle version as well, like a hum, humble bundle key. But then, I mean, you'll already have it in Steam for the dev version anyway, so it won't be a big deal. So yeah, um, nine bit. If you're on Skype, hit me up. Um, and then uh, I can pass you your key early, but all the other dev keys will be going out over the weekend, first thing next week. And yeah, I think this is this is it for the day, guys. Um, I had a blast hanging out. Um, sorry for the uh, you know the, some of the f speed of the video or the quality or all that kind of stuff. Just do what I can. I'm just trying to do what I can. And I'm going to keep doing this every Friday. If you guys want to keep in touch with what I'm doing throughout the week, I'm going to get a little bit better at doing, uh, keeping up with uh, doing stuff on Twitter, just sort of announcing updates and stuff that I'm doing. Um, but the once those dev keys go out, you're going to see the version in your Steam will, will be updated with the most recent version of Cosmicoria as it's being done. So you'll get all the latest updates and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, keep in touch with me on Twitter. It's uh, Mantra Kid on Twitter. Um, you can go to Facebook. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, Acorns Yay. Sorry for apologizing. Oh, sorry for apologizing about apology. Oh, sorry for apologizing about apologizing about apologizing. Sorry for saying sorry about apologizing. Uh, Facebook.com slash Cosmicoria. You can go to Cosmicoria.com. Uh, you can go to Twitter slash Mantra Kid. Um, Ace of Fire, you just missed a dev key giveaway. I'm going to give a key away um, every Friday. So just tune in next week and uh, you can see sort of me working on the game. Hopefully I'll be a little bit further along. I'll have those bases done uh, once I've got my CPU devoted to the game and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah... I think uh, things are going to be good. Okay. It's the weekend. Let's go. Uh, oh, shitty. Um, it's the weekend. It's time to go and play with your friends and family. And I'm going to go. I guess I'm going to get back to work, really. Huge love, guys. Um, Thanks, thanks so much for coming to hang out and sit with me. Right, and uh, huge love to Dan Rocks, who was here with me when it was just one-on-one -on -one at the very beginning of the stream. I'm gonna be streaming every Friday at one o'clock Pacific, so I'll try and keep it fairly standard. But if you follow me on Twitter, you'll get the update and uh, all that kind of stuff. Or you can hit the follow button. I think there's a follow button on here too, and uh, you'll get updated once I go live. Peace out, guys. Huge love. Thanks again. Have a great weekend. Uh, take it easy. I was uh, I was gonna do a live beat. I was gonna just do a quick jam before I left my office, and then I was like, you know what? I'm still on the stream. I'll just do like a live beat on the stream. As <laughs> it's my my parting, my goodbye. Should I do video for it? Maybe. Let's see.
Let's see. Powerful intros, feel my molecules, feel my piece of molecule, punch, flipping like a jar, so they get all the school, but I can't get my ring pen, put the monkey X, get this I excess to express, finesse, mess and repress, a piece of pacifist, and picking at the plot, plotting pendulums, a pit, it's from the plight that people got, building fences for the shadows while the sun burns out, and the guys with the biggest fucking guns bring clout, so check yourself in, cause you're flipping through your face, but government's clipping packets and sniffing through a trace, you can face shook, as you Hard drive info spills in my base grace case makes it waste loud thrills I don't displace my skills just keep building up till hills become mountain scrapes face and erase my thrills and replace myself the truth don't leave a game stone and still it's representing the process of shred of evidence so I'm building a version of the world's great chess my disappears and registry breaks risks it also breaks you loose so we can no longer shout to this too late to rip and tear a wall right out so, so when you hear those, those bad, bad guys, guys talk, talk, keep dancing. Sounds, sounds like, like they, they won't stop, but keep dancing. When, when they, they think they're at the top of the game, game, that's when we all climb out and dismantle the frame. When you hear those bad guys talk, keep dancing. Sounds, sounds like they, they won't stop, but keep dancing. When they when think they're at the top, top of the game, game, that's when we all climb out and dismantle the frame. <laughs> So, when you see those bad guys, stop, stop keep dancing. Sometimes they like won't stop, but keep dancing. It's when they do the job of the game. So, we all climb out and just get to the frame. So, when you see those bad guys, stop, keep dancing. Sometimes they won't stop, but keep dancing. It's when they do the job of the game. So, my heart is on top of the smoke to the phone, you know. Shit, 
Daily without slap or a cease to attack The lack and direction of plans and expectations Look way down the wrong track The figure, a trick of wish that some of this Would have a piece of hard to mishmash It's us together to the speed of a sub Mother whether or not he thought he'd fight his mind by doing so Isn't it so? It's down that way I might say I can't play But I'd be lying Cause I've been trying to have fun this whole time With my blend of twisted rhyme and mental confined It's so I can't be proud if it makes me loud and annoying Just toying with the commercial Commercial messages and sauces will be pound scales on the way to hip hop, yeah, real fast, it doesn't scare me, it prepares me, for the sharing of my thoughts, or whether or not you think that they apply to your own eye, the it doesn't matter, cause the fact that your mind gets as it soaks up the sweat of a trillion voices, answers to choices and noises, and formulas of experience, wisdom and mystery, and never being on, I can find a hundred crap things but try and run, but, but you, you get, get nothing, nothing from that, that. ignore the, the propagated, propagated scat, choose the knowledge battles Rightly, stand up, hold them tightly, nightly. If you have to, I shouldn't have to craft two scenarios up for you. Going to the minuses and pluses of these women, it's such a fuss about what you should be listening to. I think that's something you should do. Find choice on the of establishing me as a whole. Like a whole transmits the information as a domination of the world is handed over to the few. With the money and the funny noses, fondling the roses and caps. I don't think you're much of a fan of this. It is scandalous, skirmish as to the worst. The potential to be mental on the patio With the game boy Sharing my vision The mighty kids its vision To this point onwards It's gone for a lifetime With my marbles being set free Finally look up and see them With their little wings Doing things for the other Angels sing and the big bells ring The final goodbye I'll say the nose cry And scream and mutter something like Why? Why God? Why? But don't even try to think that this thing Has a meaning You'd just be dreaming And fantasizing about a Santa-sized chocolate bar that has a flavor that's far from reality it doesn't exist simply persist to endure the waiting as you slowly start hitting the process and toss aside your morals and manners like Danny Tanner if he had a tack hammer and started smashing heads into batter or I could see the man hatter pouring hot tea in his crotch while people watch in the street he moves his feet in a graceful little dance as sheer pain rushes down through his I can't remember the last time I saw a pattern like this I really miss the 
Well, it's some of the good old days, that's what I always say Cause I hang on to the past full of things I'll pass And I can barely you be clear enough to understand it I could just drop it, but I cannot stop it You start to me, to drop a constantly Some of the concentration I thought I once had But I must have gotten pretty bad I can't even remember what flavor I had what the man, man said, Zerdin still, yeah, 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 you yeah, 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 Say. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I'll do one more more cause cause can, 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 can. There's still five, five people, people that I have to drive away Alright guys, if this doesn't do it, I don't know what will
So far from you, yeah, it'll down like beautiful alien bales And when the hailstorm arrives, you can see the red sky 
inside filled with 56 dollar bills And delicious to cream My eyes, my eyes get bigger than my stomach And run up my integrity, begging me Let them be put up a soon, this is so cool If your father gets so dear, leave you far too long Far too long Far too long I feeling it's not what I was feeling you guys are still oh there's more people now <laughs> I was trying to drive you guys away <laughs> I've been I was I was gonna I was gonna jam anyway just for the fun of it and uh, <laughs> I was trying to drive you guys away okay if this doesn't do it nothing will What else? You guys are still. That was a loop. Okay. Fart loops. I missed it. I missed it again.
Which, which loop are you talking about? about? <laughs> it's, pretty, it's so bad. It's just so bad. And it's so distorted. Coming right out. Hey, boom, boom. If I drop the drop the input level, it's better for my neighbors are peeking out their window wondering what the fuck. <laughs> I just want to read through your comments. This is just silly. I'm just indulging myself now. This is like masturbatory. It's worth it. It's worth it. The fact that there's six people hanging out. Drums, but we're not hooked up. <laughs> <laughs>